you know, three grams up to eight grams or, you know, depending, I will go higher. Yes, it doesn't come with, you know, problems with bleeding. If you're taking really for someone, you know, if we're thinking about autoimmune conditions. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am joined again today by the beautiful Emily Carhill. So let's dive in. So do you want to just start by giving us an overview of fish oil and omega-3s and we'll sort of just go from there? Sure. Oh. Uh, so fish oil is made up of um, omega-3 fatty acids. So there's uh, three different types of omega-3 fatty acids. Um, there's alpha linoleic acid and then we've got EPA and DHA. Omega-3 fatty acids are um, classified as essential fatty acids because we need to get them from our diet because our body can't make them itself. And um, so that's where we get majority of our source. But one of the problems is that uh, most of the foods that we eat will contain alpha linoleic acid as opposed to EPA and DHA. And EPA and DHA are actually the form of fish oil that has that therapeutic effect in the body. So we need to convert alpha linoleic acid, I'm just going to start calling it ALA, um, into EPA and then DHA in our body. But that conversion is uh, um, pretty slow. So only about 15% of what we get from ALA is actually converted. EPA and DHA, which are the really important omega-3 fatty acids, we can only get from uh, fish and seafood. So if you're not eating a lot of fish and seafood, then you're really not going to be getting very much of this EPA and DHA. Dosage range can be quite wide. And I guess, you know, I always take into account things like, you know, other people eating fish um, and how much are they eating? So, you know, how much uh, omega-3 fatty acids are they already getting? And then what is it that we are giving it for? Because that will also change the dose. So, um, Therapeutic dose-wise, you know, sort of usually around, I would say, you know, three grams up to eight grams or, you know, depending, I will go higher. What I, I do want to qualify that and say that despite fish oil being really safe and despite the fact that, yes, it doesn't come with, you know, problems with bleeding, if you're taking really high doses, I think it's best to do it under the supervision of um, a naturopath or a doctor or something like that. Um, but yeah, for someone, you know, if we're thinking about autoimmune conditions, again, I would generally dose higher cardiovascular protection. If you're just looking at, uh, you know, there's no really overt cardiovascular disease and you're looking more so at protection, you know, three grams a day is generally three, four grams for reducing triglycerides generally is what studied. Um, but yeah, you can go sort of a little bit lower dose. Um, the other thing I do like to do is test people's omega-3 levels um, just because that can help with being able to figure out what the correct dose is for that person. Again, thank you for watching and being part of our Kimmy Coach community. We hope you found this useful. If you did, remember to give us a like, thumbs up and hit subscribe and you get notified anytime we do more videos. Make some comments below if you want to say anything and if you've got any topics that you want us to talk about, I'm always checking those comments. So put them in the comments below and we'll make sure that we do that. Thanks again, Emily, for joining me today. I really appreciate you. And um, yeah, any questions, let us know. And until next time, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.